Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. There are zero spoilers for Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves in this. What we're going to talk about is just uh, what happens next with Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. We're going to talk about the finances of Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. And we're going to talk about what could be done next to save Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves from being a commercial failure. Okay? All right, so let's talk about this. All right. So, um... So Dun- Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves did not did had an absolutely horrific opening week o- opening box office weekend. It made thirty eight point five million dollars on its box office opening weekend. It should have made it should have made it should have made one hundred and fifty million. So these numbers are horrible, right? And because uh, you need to triple your budget to be a successful movie today, all right? And so, right now, Dungeons and Dragons is a commercial failure. Ironically, it's a critical success. It, I, literally, I have literally never heard a single person have a bad review of this film. Not anyone. Everyone who has seen this film loves it. Critics and um, and uh, regular moviegoers, right? Everybody loves this. The problem is people didn't show up. People just did not. They're like Dungeons and Dragons. They're like, thank you, next. Not interested. That's a problem, okay? Now, there is one path forward that could make this a commercial success, right? That could make the movie be incredibly successful for the tabletop role-playing game and make the movie so that it could make a hundred or two hundred million dollar box open box office opening on its second on its sequel film. Okay? There's one path forward, okay? Now, the sad thing, and I'm going to tell you what the path forward is. The problem is there's only a 1% chance of it happening. But I want to talk about it just in case. Some, Well, I already know people in the industry are... are, are, are I know people in the tabletop role-playing game industry watch my channel. The question is if anybody in Hollywood watches my channel. And, uh, and one of the things that's nice is now that we have a blockbuster film, there are Hollywood people who are connected to tabletop role-playing games. So there's a path that Hollywood could hear this. And so, and all the, you know, connected people of Hollywood. Let's get there. Let's get there. Let's get there. Here we go. What is the only hope Dungeons and Dragons has at this point? So here's what's going to happen next by the, by the rules, by the logic. Okay. And it cannot happen. Okay. So Dungeons and Dragons was made by Paramount, by Paramount. Paramount has a streaming a streaming network, Paramount Plus. I get Paramount Plus one to three months a year when it comes on a sale through Amazon of 99 cents or $1.99 a month. And whenever that happens, I immediately sign up for it for a month or two months. And then the moment that, uh, and then like literally a day before that uh, expires, I cancel it because I will not buy another streaming service at $9 a month. Because I already have like five streaming services, right? And Paramount Plus has great stuff. I love it, but I'm not paying a regular price for it, right? So I'm a, I'm what's called a churner. I churn on on Paramount Plus, right? So logically, it would make every logical sense for this Paramount movie to go to Paramount Plus, right? And they're like, we want our our you know we want our um, our streaming service to grow. And people are going to go to Dungeons and Dragons and sign up for Dungeons and Dragons to get, you know, and then start paying us $9 a month forever, right? That makes logical sense. That should not happen, right? It's very, very important that that does not happen, okay? Now, why should that not happen, right? So here is why that should not happen. The reason that should not happen is because um, this Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves must, absolutely must, it must go to Netflix. And the reason why is Netflix can make a sleeper series that is good explode. And it has done it again and again and again. The first, okay, the biggest example of this is... um, the biggest example of this by far is, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, is Avatar Last Airbender. 
That thing sat on Amazon for years and nobody watched it. It was on Nickelodeon for years and nobody watched it. It exploded and got millions of hours of views on Netflix, right? Waco, right? Uh, Waco, uh, there was a, a story called uh, David. I think it was called David. And it was the story of David Koresh on Waco. It was a dramatization with Taylor Kitsch, right? And it was phenomenal, right? It sat on Paramount Plus for two years. Nobody watched it. It dropped on Netflix. It was a smash hit. It was number one in its week, and everybody loved it. Right. So here's the issue. The reality is we've reached the point where we know and we can't do this anymore. We have to realize when something has to change, right? And so Dungeons and Dragons, so Paramount has to literally give this movie to Netflix and say, please, please, please put this on your platform and that will give them the ability to make another movie and make a, a sequel to this horrible, uh, you know, non-delivering film, right? And that would do the trick. That would really do the trick and it would it would actually um, it would fix the problem. And it's very sad and it is, you know, it is very sad that all this is happening and we are, you know, we are saddened by the terror by this this outcome, but this would fix the problem, right? And this this would let people see the movie in millions in Millions of people would see the movie the moment it dropped, and they would go, oh my gosh, that's good. Where's number two, right? This is the only path to success for Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, in my humble opinion, but there's only a 1% chance Paramount will be smart enough to do this. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.